We've all been there before. It's time to wind down, so we switch on our favorite streaming service to find something good to watch. If you're anything like me, you'll eventually doom scroll through every single one of your streaming services, only to pass out 10 minutes after you finally find something that you wanted to watch. And the next time it's time to find something to watch again, you do that all over again. You don't even finish watching whatever it was that you spent so much time looking for a few nights before. I remember experiencing something like this when I was trying to learn how to code. I didn't know what area of software development I wanted to get into or what programming language I wanted to focus on. Eventually, I finally decided to focus on web development, but I kept worrying that I made the wrong choice. No wonder there's so many memes and jokes about developers having so many unfinished tutorials and unfinished projects. Honestly, I just thought that there was something wrong with me, but recently I found out that this is actually pretty common and there's even a name for it. It's usually referred to as option paralysis, decision paralysis, or choice paralysis. Option paralysis is a decision-making paralysis that occurs when we're faced with too many options. So paralysis is a consequence of having too many choices. And this happens in all sorts of situations, from what to have for dinner, to what to watch on Netflix, where to go on vacation, or what college major and career path you wanna take. Option paralysis can be caused by a number of factors. For one, our brains aren't designed to handle so many options. One of the key thinkers on this topic is Barry Schwartz. He's the author of the book, The Paradox of Choice. In his book, Schwartz discusses how the abundance of choice in modern society can be a double-edged sword. The world we used to live in looked like this. That is to say, there were some choices, but not everything was a matter of choice. And the world we now live in looks like this. In one hand, it gives us the freedom to make our own decisions and shape our own lives. But on the other hand, it can feel overwhelming and make us feel like we can't make the right decision. He argues that while having more choices may seem like a good thing, it can actually make it harder for us to make decisions and lead to regret and disappointment. He explains that in the past, people had limited choices in many aspects of their lives. However, with the rise of consumer culture, we are faced with an overwhelming amount of options in every aspect of our lives. For example, consider the act of grocery shopping. In the past, you may have gone to a store and been faced with just a few different options for a particular item. Now you can walk into a grocery store and be faced with dozens, if not hundreds of options for a single item. When faced with so many options, we feel like we need to make the perfect decision, which can lead us to feeling overwhelmed and just not making a decision at all. This can be extremely overwhelming in today's world where we're just constantly bombarded with way too many options. Oh, I can't decide. So with all that said, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, how do I avoid option paralysis? All right, the first way is to set clear goals. Before you start considering your options, it's important to know what you're trying to accomplish. Having clear goals will help you narrow down your choices and it'll make it easier for you to decide which option is best for you. The second thing is to consider your values. Think about what's most important to you and use it as a guide to help you make your decisions. This will help you eliminate options that don't line up with your values and it'll make it easier for you to choose the best option. Next, set limits. Instead of trying to consider every single option that's available to you, try setting limits on the number of options you're willing to choose from. This can help you avoid becoming overwhelmed and it'll make it a lot easier for you to make a decision. After that, you wanna seek advice if possible. Consider seeking advice from friends, family, colleagues, or subject matter experts that will help you make a better choice. They may be able to provide you with a valuable perspective or they might know more about what it is you're looking into and could help you make the right choice from your options. You can also make a pros and cons list. I like to get out the old yellow legal pad and make a list of pros and cons. This can really help you make a decision based on what best fits your needs and can really help you weigh out the benefits versus the drawbacks. Something else that you really wanna do is trust your gut. Ultimately, you're gonna to have to make a choice and you're gonna to have to trust that you made the best decision that you could based off of the information that you had. Don't be too hard on yourself later on. We all make mistakes and it's just part of the learning process. With that said, also you have to accept that you can't have it all. Since you eventually have to make a choice, it's important to remember that you can't always have everything that you want and you're gonna probably have to make some trade-offs here and there. Life's a trade-off. Instead of trying to find the perfect option, try to find the one that best fits your needs and lines up with your values and the thing that you're trying to accomplish. Once you do make a choice, try to let go of any regret and doubt that you might have with the choice that you made. Just move forward and remember that no decision is ever perfect and you can always adjust the course depending on your needs later on if necessary. The last thing is find happiness in the process. 
I know that this does sound a little cheesy, but it really can help you feeling more satisfied and fulfilled with the choice that you made. And just don't worry about it too much because eventually you're gonna have to make another choice and you don't wanna get bombarded with option paralysis when you're facing a bunch of other options as you move forward through whatever it is you're trying to do. These are some tips that I gathered from the internet and from the book, The Paradox of Choice, and I hope that they help you with your decision-making process if you do in fact find yourself with option paralysis. Just remember to stay true to your values, set clear goals, and when in doubt, follow your gut. There's gonna be a bunch of choices that you're gonna to have to make throughout your life, and you don't wanna get caught up being stuck, overanalyzing, having option paralysis when the time comes to make a serious decision. All right, with that said, I hope that you found this video helpful. All right, with that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.